So in the last period we have seen the concept of circular motion. Radius vector and position vector. Again, just I will revise what is meant by position vector. Position vector when the origin of x axis and y axis coincides with the center of circular motion, then the radius vector is known as a position vector. In after resolving this position vector, how this position vector can be resolved? You drop the perpendicular on x-axis and y-axis from the point P and this distance AO will represent the magnitude of position vector along x-axis and this distance will represent the magnitude of position vector along y-axis. The vector sum of these two vectors gives the position vector. So, the next concept in circular motion is circular motion is an accelerated motion. Why this circular motion is known as accelerated motion? See this figure. In this figure, the velocity of a particle is always a tangential to the circular path. At this point, at this point, at this point, that is at points P, Q, R, Yes, the velocity is a tangential to the circular path. At these positions, the magnitude of velocity remains constant, but its a direction is a change. And velocity is a vector quantity, it has magnitude as well as direction. As it's a direction at a point P, direction at a point v, Q, direction at a point R and direction at a point S is a different. Velocity is a different at position P, Q, R, S. As a velocity is a different, that motion is an accelerated motion. So circular motion is known as an accelerated motion. In a type of circular motion, it may be non-uniform circular motion, it may be uniform circular motion, both types of motions are as accelerated motions. So we can say that circular motion is an accelerated motion. Next article in the circular motion is characteristics of circular motion. There are different characteristics of circular motion. The first characteristic is that circular motion is an accelerated motion. Next one, centripetal force is a necessary for the circular motion. Unless and otherwise the centripetal force is present, circular motion will not take place. So except centripetal force, circular motion will not be present. If there is a circular motion, there is a presence of centripetal force. Without centripetal force, circular motion is impossible. Third characteristic, centripetal force is always directed toward the center of circular motion. So, if this particle is performing a circular motion along the circumference of the circle, then the centripetal force is always directed 
toward the center of circular motion. As this particle moves along the circumference of the circle, this centripetal force is along the radius. It acts along the radius and directed toward the center of circular motion. As a particle moves in a circular path, centripetal force is directed toward the center of circular motion. And the last characteristic is that if only in uniform circular motion, not in other type of motions, only in uniform circular motion, it is a periodic motion. It completes one revolution in a particular interval of a time. So, that uniform circular motion is also known as a periodic motion. So, these are the four characteristics of the circular motion. After that, the next article is angular displacement. The next article in circular motion is angular displacement. How this angular displacement can be defined? The vector starting from the center of circular motion and ending on the circumference is known as a radius vector. When particle moves along the circumference of the circle, this radius vector subtends some angle at the center of circular motion. The angle described by radius vector at the center of circular motion is called as a angular displacement. See once again. The angle described by radius vector at the center of circular motion is known as angular displacement. Let A is the initial position, B is the final position, O is the center of circular motion, R is the radius. Then this arc AB is known as ES, that is the distance covered by the particle performing the circular motion. And theta is the angular displacement. See once again in this figure, A is initial position, B is a final position, O is the center, R is the radius, theta is the angular displacement. So, A initial position, B final position, arc AB, this gives the distance covered by the particle and theta is the angular displacement. Then angular displacement is defined as arc AB upon radius arc AB, but this arc AB is equal to S and radius is R. So, angular displacement theta is equal to S by R. This angular displacement has a unit a radian. So, this angle may be expressed in minutes, seconds, or degrees or radians. So the unit of angular displacement is a radian and it is the ratio of two same physical quantity because the distance covered by the particle, yes, it is also measured in meter and radius of the circle, it is also measured in meter. So this angular displacement is the ratio of two same physical quantities. So, it is a dimensionless physical quantity. The angular displacement is the radius vector ni ya circular motion cha center si subtend kelela kon. Ya radius vector ni Circular motion cha center C si subtend kilila code yala mana angular displacement. It's a unit hai. 
रेडियन डिग्री मिनिट सेकंड अपने मिनिट आ सेकंड मन वाटते कि टाइम च युनिट अल पे टाइम च युनिट नहीं तो एंगल च युनिट है तो टाइम च युनिट है नहीं अस नहीं टाइम सुधा सेकंदा मधे मिनिट मध्य मोजत पंगल सुधा मिनिट आ सेकंदा मधे मोजत मी एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट स्केलर क्वांटिटी आहे का वेक्टर क्वांटिटी है तो हि दो प्रकार की क्वांटिटी है द नेचर ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी टाइप ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी ये को प्रकार की फिजिकल क्वांटिटी है स्केलर एज वेल एज वेक्टर तो हि स्केलर केवते वेक्टर केवते ज्यास या आर्क लेंथ कॉर्न ईबी ये आर्क लेंथ ही जर कॉर्न ईबी पेक्षा मोटी पहा मैं तो पुनः एक लक्ष दे आर्क लेंथ ईबी जर कॉर्न ईबी पेक्षा जर मोटी तो, तो जो थीट है तो फाइनाइट है क्या लॉज ऑफ वेक्टर्स ओबे होत नहीं मनु ती स्केलर क्वांटिटी है जर या दोन पोजिशन्स एकमेक जवर आर्क लेंथ ए बी और कॉर्ड ए बी या दोन ची लंबी सारखी कि एकमेक कोइनसाइड होत मात्र हा थीटा हा इन्फाइनाइट्स मध्य स्मॉल इन दैट केस एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी इट ओबेज द लॉज ऑफ वेक्टर्स एज दिस इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी इट हैज अ मैग्नेट्यूड एज वेल एज डायरेक्शन सो इट्स अ डायरेक्शन इज ऑलवेज परपेन्डिकुलर टू द प्लेन ऑफ सर्क्युलर मोशन If a circular motion is in this plane, then angular displacement is always perpendicular to the plane of circular motion. This direction may be in an upward direction or may be in a downward direction, but its direction is always perpendicular to the plane of circular motion. so when it is in upward direction or when it is in a downward direction it is given by right hand screw rule or right hand rule what is meant by right hand rule imagine the axis of rotation is held in a right hand with outward stretch of thumb manje axis of rotation kaso pakadaycho he tani sangitlela hai एक्सेस ऑफ रोटेशन तुम्हें या मुठी मधे अशा रीति ने पकड़ा उजवा हाथा मुठी मधे अंगठा हा वर दिशे पाजे तान लाइजे अंगठ एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू राइट हैंड रूल इफ द टिप्स ऑफ कर्ल फिंगर्स ऑफ राइट हैंड रिप्रेजेंट्स द सेंस ऑफ सर्क्युलर मोशन देन दिस आउटवर्ड स्ट्रेच रथम will represent the direction of angular displacement once again i will repeat it imagine the axis of rotation is held in right hand with outward stretch of thumb if the tips of curl fingers of right hand represents the sense of circular motion then outward stretch the thumb will give the direction of angular displacement if this circular motion is in anti clockwise direction ghadala chi kati yashi firta tacha ulad jar circular motion asel tar tala apan anti clockwise samjut jar circular motion anti clockwise circular motion asel तो हा उजव्या हाथा बोट अपन सर्क्युलर मोशन दिशे वी अंगठा सा वर का अंगठा का रिप्रेजेंट करेल 
एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिप्रेजेंट के समझा हे जर सर्क्युलर मोशन क्लॉकवाइज असेल हे क्लॉकवाइज सर्क्युलर मोशन असेल आपण उजव्या हाताची बोट या दिशेनं वळवली म्हणजे सर्क्युलर मोशनच्या क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शनला रोटेट केली तर अँगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट ही डाऊनवर्ड डायरेक्शनला येते असे इट इज इन अ डाऊनवर्ड डायरेक्शन अँड इट इज अ टेकन ॲज अ निगेटिव्ह this upward direction is taken as a positive and downward direction is taken as negative so this is a negative this is a known as a sign convention so what are the sign conventions of angular displacement the first sign convention is that when the circular motion is in anti clockwise direction then angular displacement is in upward direction and it is taken as a positive when this circular motion is in a clockwise direction then angular displacement is in a downward direction and it is taken as a negative the diagrammatic representation of sign conventions of angular displacement is like this for clockwise circular motion angular displacement theta is in a forward direction and it is taken as a positive for clockwise circular motion angular displacement is in a downward direction and it is taken as a negative so here clockwise a circular motion so vector form of the displacement is defined as delta theta or d theta is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 ds upon r so this form is known as a vector form of the displacement so what is the meaning of this vector form of the displacement let us suppose this is the initial position of the particle and this is the final position of the particle initial position of the particle and final position of the particle they should be close to each other so in an interval of time of dt second that dt second is approximately zero this particle will move from initial position a to in final position b it means position a and b are very very close to each other that's why we put a limit delta t tends to 0 ds distance traveled by the particle upon radius ds upon r is a vector form of the angular displacement so how the cross product is obtained in a circular motion in circular motion the distance covered by the particle or displacement is always a tangential to the circumference so say this in a circular motion displacement of the particle that is a delta s is always tangential to the circular path as this circular motion is in anti clockwise direction it is a perpendicular to the plane of rotational motion and in upward direction so this will represent d theta and radius vector starts from the center of circular motion and ends on circumference so this is a negative radius vector negative radius vector means a vector from the circumference to the center that is minus r if we take a vector in this direction so this is a negative radius vector so 
here this is the displacement ds so this is a negative radius vector r and this one is a d theta if we shift this d theta parallelly to this position so so this is d theta angular displacement which is perpendicular to the plane of circular motion then this ds that is a displacement is always a tangential to the circular path and the vector from circumference to the center that is a negative radius vector these three vectors are mutually perpendicular to each other so the relation between r ds and d theta is established by right hand rule by right hand rule so what is a right hand rule so in a right hand rule there are three vectors if this is vector a this is vector b this is vector c then the cross product of these two vectors a cross b is a third vector c which is perpendicular to both vector a as well as to the vector b manjesh yacha arth thodkyat asa ahe ki he don vector cha jar apan cross product ghetla tar to cross product tisre dise bota cha dise na asto ha right hand rule म्हणून आता एक एक व्हेक्टर आपण एक एका बोटाच्या दिशेनं देऊ समजा हा व्हेक्टर जो आहे तो हा डी एस आहे हा डी एस आहे हा जो व्हेक्टर आहे हा डी थीट आहे आणि हा व्हेक्टर जो आहे हा मायनस आर आहे मायनस आर याच्यासाठी आहे कारण तो सरकमफरन्स कडनं सेंटरकडेच आहे रेडियस व्हेक्टरच आहे पण तो व्हेक्टर सेंटरपासून सरकमफरन्सकडे असण्याच्या ऐवजी सरगमफरन्सकडनं सेंटरकडे आहे अशा दिशेला तरच हे तीन व्हेक्टर एकमेकाला परपेंडिकुलर येतात म्हणजे हा व्हेक्टर कोणता झाला हा व्हेक्टर डी एस झाला हा व्हेक्टर डी थीटा झाला आणि हा जो व्हेक्टर आहे हा व्हेक्टर झाला मायनस आर सो लेट एस दिस इज व्हेक्टर डी एस अलॉंग फोर फिंगर दिस इज व्हेक्टर मायनस आर अलॉंग मिडल फिंगर अँड दिस इज व्हेक्टर डी थीटा अलॉंग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ थम सो हाऊ दिस राईट हँड रूल इज इम्प्लिमेंटेड सो दिस इज अ फर्स्ट व्हेक्टर इन क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट this is a second vector in cross product and this is a resultant vector marunach ya don vector cha jar gunakar ghetla tar to ha yeto ya don vector cha gunakar ka il ha ds multiplied by minus r minus r a yacha arth ha jo kram hai ds cross minus r ha ulat hoil ani r क्रॉस डी एस इज इक्वल टू डी थीटा आर क्रॉस डी एस इज इक्वल टू डी थीटा समझा तुम्हारा इक्वेशन डी एस ऐसी स्वरूप लिहायर डी एस इज इक्वल टू हा डी एस वैक्टर हा मिडल फिंगर का मिडल फिंगर रेडियस वैक्टर है निगेटिव रेडियस वैक्टर हा डी थीटा है या दोन्हीचा क्रॉस प्रॉडक्ट म्हणजे हा व्हेक्टर येतो कशा कशाचा क्रॉस प्रॉडक्ट हा निगेटिव्ह रेडियस व्हेक्टर आणि अँगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट डी थीटा ड्यू टू निगेटिव्ह साईन द ऑर्डर ऑफ क्रॉस प्रॉडक्ट इज रिव्हर्स्ड वी आर टेकिंग क्रॉस प्रॉडक्ट इन दिस सेन्स वी विल टेक ड्यू टू द प्रेझेन्स ऑफ निगेटिव्ह साईन वी विल टेक द क्रॉस प्रॉडक्ट इन दिस सेन्स that is a sense of cross product is reversed so this d theta cross r is equal to ds in this way if we are interested in writing the equation of r 
देन माइनस आर इज इक्वल टू डी थीटा क्रॉस डी एस बट देर इज अ निगेटिव साइन सो वी हैव टू चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट सो डी एस क्रॉस डी थीटा इज इक्वल टू आर सो डी एस क्रॉस डी थीटा इज इक्वल टू आर सो दिस इज अ राइट हैंड रूल विच इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल टू फाइंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट रेडियस वैक्टर एंड लीनियर डिस्प्लेसमेंट वैक्टर इन सर्कुलर मोशन